I often get asked, what is so incredible about a photograph? It's simple. The power of a photograph is this. Even when the people in the image change, the memory it contains never will. Great photographs have the power to stir up our emotions in amazing ways. It's hardly surprising that so many of us view our family photo albums as the most sentimentally valuable of our possessions. For many of us, the images in these albums are the only real links we have to the most significant moments and relationships in our lives. We are truly blessed to live in an age where we can photograph every aspect of our lives with ease. Our modern existence is saturated with imagery. What we eat, where we've been, and who we love and have loved, our lives are being documented in such detail and volume that we take for granted how amazing that ability truly is. On Facebook alone, we upload a staggering 4,000 photographs per second. Let that sink in. 4,000 photographs per second. Just for a moment, I'd like you to imagine what it would feel like if every sentimental photograph you owned suddenly vanished. All your family portraits and every image of every celebration in your life all those mementos, gone. To lose something so valuable and so completely irreplaceable would be a tragedy. Yet as tragic as that loss would be, I can think of a worse scenario. What if you'd never captured those images at all? What if those images never existed in the first place? As far-fetched as it sounds, there are indeed places in this world where people do not have the ability to photograph the passage of their lives as well as we do. There are people living with no photographs of their families or children, no visual memories at all. I'm reaching out to you to help me change that reality for a community of incredible people. My name is Rory Lobscher. I'm a professional photographer, doctor, and father. I'd like to introduce you to Sosso Village, a community living in Fiji's Yasawa Island chain roughly three hours by ferry from Denarau on mainland Fiji. Home to the largest primary school in the Asawas, it is a place I fell in love with when I first visited as a tourist in 2011. Village life is idyllic, peaceful and without many of the modern conveniences associated with an urban lifestyle. Yet what struck me most on that first visit, aside from the incredible warmth and hospitality of the Fijian people, was the fact that none of the houses we were invited into had photographs of its children on display. In fact, I was so surprised by this that I returned the next day and with very simple lighting, created a small set of portraits as a gesture of thanks for the genuine kindness that was shown to our group. These I retouched on my return home and posted back to the island. However, the 30 images I captured represent a very small drop in the ocean. There are almost 100 children in the school alone, not counting those below school going age. I made a promise to myself that I would one day return and make sure that every child got photographed well. I believe that the time has come to keep that promise. It took me a while to muster the courage to move ahead with this idea, but in 2015 I succeeded in reconnecting with the village and subsequently received the approval of the village chief to proceed with this project. I returned in November 2015 to make connections, formally introduce myself, and evaluate the scope and feasibility of the project. During that visit, I reconnected with some of the children I had photographed before. Seeing how much they had changed made me more determined than ever to make this happen. I am approaching you for help to turn my vision into a reality. My intention is to photograph each of the roughly 100 children in the village. Every image will then be professionally printed and mounted, and I'll return to deliver these 100 portraits personally. During this process, I intend to make use of a videographer to document the process. I have a dream that this project will serve as the pilot for similar projects every year. I believe that I have the ability to use my skills to make a difference but I need financial assistance to turn this idea into a reality. Flights, accommodation, transfers, meals, insurance,
These are only some of the many expenses that will be incurred over the course of the three trips required to complete this project. The first trip, the planning trip, completed in 2015, allowed me to put together a very detailed and accurate budget of roughly $26,000 needed for the completion of this project. Details on what this covers can be found on the budget section of the website. In addition, I have a number of stretch goals that I'd like to achieve should I succeed in exceeding my initial funding goals. These goals include photographing the wider family units, as well as providing cameras and laptops to the school. Details on these stretch goals are also available on the website. I'm here to humbly ask for your financial assistance. I need your help to get this idea off the ground. I will be making use of crowdfunding in February and March to raise the remaining funds I need for this project. I'm reaching out to you to request donations before the crowdfunding campaign begins. The lower the crowdfunding target, the better my chances of turning this idea into reality. In return for your donation, you will receive recognition on the crowdfunding page, in Facebook updates, media releases, and on the website. I am also more than willing to discuss other ways of compensating you for your support. I'm determined to make this project happen. Life has a way of placing us exactly where we need to be to make a difference. The trick is to seize that fleeting moment before it is gone forever. I believe I've been given an opportunity to make a difference to an incredible community of people. Please help me realize this idea. Help me to do something meaningful for some very deserving children. Thank you for your time. I hope you see the importance of what I am hoping to achieve.